Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Shatoka, and on this channel, I just share things that I love. So I love sewing and I love fashion. So I wanted to show you guys some of my fancy dresses that I have made over the last few years. Um, some are birthday dresses and some are just like events that I have gone to. Um, this is not my total fancy dress collection, but these are four of like my favorites that I've held on to because there are a few that I've ended up like um, passing along so I wanted to show this I actually just finished doing like the try on version and it was so <laughs> fun just putting these dresses on again like um, one I haven't worn in years it was for an event back in I think like 2016 but it still fits really well so i was glad to put that on but yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys if you wanted to give you any ideas um since it is holiday season and i know sometimes people like to make up their like holiday dresses or i mean these could be birthday dresses because a couple that i have are um birthday dresses so yeah if you're interested in seeing my fancy dresses go ahead and stick around so the first one that I'm going to show is actually a dress that I wore on my 40th birthday dinner. Um, it's a little mini and I really love how it turned out. The fabric I ended up getting locally. Um, I believe, yeah, all of my fabric that I got for these dresses are local. Um, I do shop online for fabric from time to time, but typically I like to feel my fabric. So I go in stores uh, locally. So this was, like I said, the first one that I'm going to show is going to be my 40th birthday dinner dress and I went to a nice dinner. I ended up having like a staycation. So this is 2021 um, because I'll be turning 42 coming up in 2023. So this is 2021. So this is last year's birthday dress. Um, and I really love how it turned out. It is, I use a pattern 7047 for this dress however i didn't use the peplum so it's one of those ones that and you'll see in the other dresses too that have those pieces that you can mix and match between um the pattern and so i ended up using the short uh skirt version and the top portion um and there was a peplum on there but i decided to just do kind of like a half ruffle and i ended up just like you know making a makeshift little ruffle on the side so yeah love how it turned out it's long sleeve uh this fabric was really really pretty however it did like get all over the place but i really love how it turned out and it was so cute i ended up wearing it with some over the knee boots because it's a mini and it was so cute really love how this one turned out Okay, and so the second dress that I'm gonna show is going to be the red velvet dress. So I've always loved velvet fabric. I've sewn with it over the years. I've made um, plenty of dresses. Like my last uh, year's birthday dress was actually in an orange velvet and I shared it with you guys in my uh, beginning of the year wrap up of things that I made and I used a Vogue pattern for that one, but I really love velvet. It's so nice. It is a bit warm, so I wouldn't recommend it if it was like for a summer like birthday, but it really was nice. I actually ended up wearing this red velvet dress for an event um, here in Chicago. And again, I got my fabric locally and I ended up just using, um, for this dress, I did not use a particular pattern, but I did use like a maxi skirt that I had and like a top that I had and I put them together and then I dipped the bag. So a lot of times, especially earlier in my sewing journey, I used to just use clothing. So a maxi skirt that fit me really well. And then I decided to do a split on this one. Really love how it turned out. It looked really, really nice. I made this, I believe in 2016. 
I believe 2016 or 2017 I'll have to like go look at my old uh, photos um, but it still fits really nice because you guys know that velvet has a really nice stretch on it but I didn't have any zips or anything in this dress because it's just like a pullover dress and it has a nice uh, lower back so it was easy to get in and get out of but I really love this so so cute and at the time when I wore it back then I ended up wearing like a pair of like red pumps but when I was trying on today, I actually ended up having to put a different pair because I can't find those. And they were so comfortable. I'm like so bummed that I can't find those shoes. But I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of me when I wore it back in 2016. And then, of course, you guys will see pictures and video of me in it today. But, yeah, it still fits really well. Like, I don't know. I feel like I need to wear this one again or I don't know. I have taken some pictures like by the tree with it. Maybe I'll use it for like my Christmas photos this year or something. I don't know. But it's so cute. I really love how the red looks. And I'm really not like a red person. I like I don't mind red, but the way this red velvet looks, it's so, so nice. So for this dress, when I wore it, I wore it for a sneaker ball I had for my 20th reunion. We ended up having where, you know, you wear a formal dress and sneakers. So I made it to go with a pair of shoes that I already had. So when I was actually putting it on to try it on for you guys, I didn't want to wear it with sneakers. I wanted to, you know, wear it with actual like heels. So I just wore some heels that I already have in my collection and it looked really cute. They go together really well. At first I was thinking like, am I really gonna go out and buy some heels just to you know do this video but I was like no I'm gonna go in my you know closet and see what I can find and I found a pair of pumps that look really really good with it so for this one I actually did use um, a pattern for the top portion which was the one shoulder it is sleeveless and that was McCall 7910 and I cut a size 14 for that one and it fit really nicely and then for the bottom again I believe I just cut around a maxi skirt that I already have and then I just made a split so typically when I do a split with my skirt so I'll just cut the front and back of the skirt and then I'll just see where I want it to be like the split in particular and then I'll cut there and then I'll sew the two pieces back together and then just hem um, the both sides that's usually how I'll do my splits if I'm not doing um, a sewing pattern I'll just see where I want it to go and how high I want it to be but yeah it was really really nice I enjoyed it when I wear it thin wore it thin that was 2019 which was my 20th year uh, reunion for high school and so still fits really really cute today um, all of these are like stretch fabric so I mean I am a little bit heavier than I was then but they still fit really really nicely it's not that big of a difference so yeah it looks really really cute this is another one that I was like oh my gosh like I forgot how cute this was so it was really really nice to try all these things on So the finale dress, this is actually my most favorite creation. So mainly because of the significance of it. So this was my 40th birthday birthday shoot dress. So like I said, the first dress that I showed, it was actually my birthday dinner, but I actually had a 40th birthday photo shoot and I made a gown for it. And oh, this fabric is just so beautiful. Again, I got it locally here in Chicago and I did use patterns for this dress. So for that one, for the top part of the dress, I used 8142, that's McCall's pattern, and I used the top portion, which is view A, 
um, which is the really nice bell sleeves and it's really like low cut in the front. Now, I'll tell you this, if you don't wanna have <laughs> cleavage showing, you don't wanna have the girls out, this is not the portion for you. Again, this is one of those patterns that you can mix and match the pieces, like the bottom, the top, the sleeves, um, but it's very revealing. But I wore it for a photo shoot, so I really didn't mind at all. Um, had I wore it out, I don't know if I would have been as comfortable because it is very revealing and very low cut. And actually for me modeling it for you guys today, I actually had to put a safety pin so that I wouldn't have <laughs> Um, um, wardrobe malfunction but yeah I really love it it is a sexy uh, neckline but it's really really beautiful and I love the bell sleeves I did do a cuff on the end of my sleeve instead of elastic like they call for in that pattern and then for the bottom portion I cut from McCall 704 what is it no 7040 and I cut up 16 for the bottom for the top portion I cut a 14 for that dress, but I love how it turned out. I got so many compliments and my pictures turned out beautifully. I'll insert a picture from the actual photo shoot. And then of course you guys will see me modeling it today. And again, it fits as well. That was only um, last year. So yeah, it was really, really nice. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys my dressy dress collection, especially, like I said, too, if you guys have any New Year's Eve parties coming up or holiday pictures. I know a lot of times people will dress formally for holiday pictures. These are some of the patterns, and I'll go ahead and add some patterns that you can also use to make your formal dresses. But for me, I like easy sewing. So all of these patterns are very easy, and I love how they are interchangeable. Um, and you can use tops and bottoms from different ones. And none of these dresses have like zipper closures or anything. They are just pullover dresses because I did use stretch fabrics. Um, but yeah, I really love how they all turned out and they all have significant memories for me. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. So my next video is probably gonna be my Christmas decor. I actually uploaded a video two weeks ago and I just looked on the channel and was like, it's time for me to upload a new video. So I'm gonna show my Christmas decor, uh, just how I decorated my tree and my dining table. Very minimal, but I really love how everything turned out this year. So I'm gonna share that. And then I'm actually wrapping up a top one of my make nine makes because you guys like, there's quite a few still on my list that I haven't gotten to and we're in December. So I'm gonna try to knock out a couple more so I can show you guys what I ended up making out of my make nine. But yeah, if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And until next time, bye.